O Mortki, widzicie, jest jakiś protest. Tutaj koło Pelhausu. Since you're gonna be a prick, no, I'm not a cop. I'm not being a prick. I want to know why. Are you in public? Are you in public? Yeah, but why you filming? So I feel like it. Does you feel like it? Exactly. Since you're gonna be a cop. He's a cop. He's a cop. Cop. Yeah, you a cop. You out here with a gun and having us? Fuck the police. Trying to rob them? I'm not a cop. Why you carrying a gun? Because it's it's my right to. So it's yours. It's my right to carry a gun. Cops can kiss my black ass. Yes, it is. It's an open carry state. Did you know that? The cops can kiss my black ass. What are you not? Well, I'm gonna do what I want to do. So we don't need to worry about this. No, you can, hon. Everyone, look. We gotta stay together and work together. They are out here and they trying to divert us right now. They got plain clothes on. 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 Yes, it is. Yes, it is. He's a terrorist. Look at him. He's a terrorist. Look at him. He's a Here. And I want to know how can this motherfucker stand here wow. with a gun? Wow. How can this motherfucker stand wow. here with a gun? This dude here has a gun. Do you know whether it's legal or not? Yeah, it's legal. Motherfucker, some information. I'm a motherfucker. A journalist is a motherfucker. I'm a journalist. I'm a motherfucker, right? People fighting for justice based on a wrongful alliance, you know, with who they think is in their best interest based on skin color. You know, I'm a motherfucker. I don't understand. Go fuck yourself. You want to step outside? I'm right here. 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 Against the medical apartheid in the prison system, and it's drawing attention to the medical crisis in the prisons in general. We put the earlier, yeah, we put the earlier one up on Facebook. Yeah. And put this one back. And put the fact that there's a cop standing there. Yeah. We had a 12-year-old boy who had a play gun. Oh. Had drawn it on no gun. We will not be stopped in our fight for justice for Mumia Abu You got it wrong. You got it wrong. You got it wrong. You got it wrong. You calling me crackers, motherfucker, because I'm carrying a gun? That's stupid. That's racist. All around the United States in prison day. When Mumia was on death row, he's right. with a gun. He's a permit. He's a permit for that gun. Yo, so it's, it's open carry. Can I shoot? Can I shoot? I don't have a nito. Okay, I don't need to. It's an open carry state. Yeah, because it's an open carry state. You gotta learn the law first. Learn the law. Learn the law. I don't need a license. I'm walking. It's open carry. It's not concealed. It's not concealed. It's not concealed. You don't under you don't understand. You're arguing. It is an open. I'm open carrying. I don't have to identify myself. I don't have to identify myself. No peace. What does that mean? No execution. He's he's with them. I don't know if he knows that they don't like white people. These guys. Oh, this lady doesn't like me. She doesn't like press. No execution. I don't know why. No execution. No execution. No execution. No execution. No execution. No they don't like media. Now this is the movement Black Lives Matter, guys.
Philadelphia police tonight are mourning the death of a young police officer shot and killed on a center city street corner early this morning. On the 9th of December, 1981, nearly four in the morning. Yeah, we just got uh, information from a passer by as a policeman shot. I'm 13th and Locus. A car was pulled over. He 
behind the wheel was the killer's brother. Just be on the lookout for a small compact car, maybe a BW. After calling for backup, the car pulled up the man. William Cook obliged And some words were exchanged And without provocation William struck him in the face As our car reference to that police shooting 13th and Locust, he was caution The cop hit on back threefold While trying to restrain Officer Daniel Faulkner was killed performing a police officer's most routine and yet most hazardous task, a car stop. And from across the street, the murder suspect, Mumia Abu Jamal, came running and opened fire on the officer. The officer then turned around, he fired one shot in Wesley's chest. And before that cop hit the ground. I Wesley wasn't finished, he was standing over a close Four more rounds, he shot him down. Once directly in the face, I put it through the brain. The case is 25 years, and I'm still fighting to have justice for Danny. The killer tried to walk away. He didn't get too far. He was slumped up against the curb in front of his brother's car. Police arriving at the scene. Four eyewitnesses observed Yeah, that's the man Blood on his head And the cop He Police tonight are mourning the death of a young police officer shot and killed on a center city street corner early this morning. Officer Daniel Faulkner was killed performing a police officer's most routine and yet most hazardous task, a car stop. Police say that Faulkner stopped this car carrying William Cook, a street vendor, as it traveled the wrong direction on a one-way street in the heart of Center City's combat zone near 12th and Locust Streets. A scuffle began, and from across the street, police say, the murder suspect, Mumia Abu Jamal, came running and opened fire on the officer. One brother's driving in a moving vehicle, and the other is parked in his taxi in a, in a parking lot. Is that a coincidence? A part of my speculation is that the thing was a setup. His brother doesn't want to take the stand because his brother knows exactly what happened. And then Mamiya did it. And you couldn't grow up in Philadelphia in the, the 80s 
and not hear about the case and not have an opinion. Everybody that I knew around him uh, was of the opinion that uh, he was a ticking time bomb. He was a revolutionary in every sense of the word. That was when we as history before this night. Mamiya's case has politics in it, it has racism in it, it has all of the things that affect our nation. He's seen as the ultimate dangerous African-American man. If you think the system is racist, sexist, oppressive, therefore unjust, then crime becomes a form of justice. We'll show you how to offer pig on a very tactical manner and defending your black people in the black community. Killing police is striking a blow for the people. The verdict is death in the electric chair for journalist Mumia Abu-Jamal. I would never believe the state of Pennsylvania or Philadelphia again if he is executed on the basis of that trial. They needed a revolutionary act of violence to become powerful players in their own lives. Danny Faulkner, as he lay on that sidewalk, looking up at the barrel of that gun, saw Jamal actually implementing his political power. Based on his history, I always wondered if Mumia Abu-Jamal just wanted to murder a police officer, wanted to kill a cop, and it was my husband. Danny and I, we were just, it, we were, he was my first true, true love. It was just a fun, loving, happy, young marriage. We were young. I remember saying, Danny, if anything ever happened to you, I just don't think I could live. I remember walking out of the courtroom and thinking that I had some kind of peace, that I knew that the man that murdered Danny, justice, was going to be carried out for the premeditation and vicious and malicious murder. And, um, 26 years later, here I sit. For years, people have argued over whether Abu Jamal is innocent or guilty. It made me angry that after 26 years, I still have to put up with seeing signs to free Mumia Abu Jamal. I am the one, many, many years ago, that made the decision to step into the ring and fight for Danny's justice. Today, 26 years ago, Danny was murdered, and he is looking down upon us tonight and he is proud that so many people for so many years in the city of Philadelphia has stood behind him. Our justice system needs to be changed. We need to remember the survivors and the victims that are left behind because our appeals process absolutely needs to be streamlined so we can have closure in life. And I am not in court 26 years after my husband was brutally murdered.